So I grew up in a rural town in Texas and I was always outside adventuring of some sort. I had a big imagination, I was really creative. And as I got older and got tired of being in like the small town feel, I started to drift away from that connection to the outdoors. I went through college, kind of lived in the city, and then what ends up happening is you kind of come full circle and you crave that again. My ex-wife and I both really loved to be outdoors, so we started camping. You know, we had two kids, so it started in a tent as a family, then it went to like more car camping style, then it went to rooftop tent, and then the next thing you know, we bought kind of an off-road trailer. So why did we start was just really because we both had this like urge to adventure on our own, but we also really wanted to instill that value in our boys. Being outdoors to me is like the single greatest gift that any of us can have. I, there, is, there is nothing for me personally more relaxing than getting out and just disconnecting. I'm a person that is absolutely terrible at relaxing. You take me on a fancy beach vacation or something, I'm just, it's, it's not fun to me. But this is one of the only areas where I feel that I truly disconnect. I can be fully immersed in like an area and a space and an environment that I love. And also as a creative individual, it's mega inspiring for me. And I'll even find that my creative, you know, kind of juices stop flowing if I get in too much of a rut or if I spend too much time in the city. And so it really put um, an emphasis and a priority on travel and kind of seeking some sort of adventure, seeking new environments. So I am the creative director currently for a um, adventure trailer company called Tax Outdoors. Um, but on my own still, I mean, I do a lot of creation. Photography is the most natural thing to me. It's, it's such a wonderful outlet. So with Overlanding specifically, it was how do we go further? That kind of started, we were both kind of car snobs and we started doing our own individual builds to say, okay, how do we make vehicles that are more capable to get to these beautiful areas that we know exist, but we can't get to in like a standard car. So when we originally started looking at vehicles, we went with more of a full size truck. We had a Ford F-350 trimmer, which was awesome. I felt like I'd kind of done the truck thing a little bit, even though I, I admit I do miss it, but I wanted something a little bit different. And I got exposed to the GX community and I just kind of fell in love with it. So I went on a deep hunt. I looked at seven of them before I bought one. So the SUV, I, I like the self-contained aspect. I absolutely miss having a truck bed. But you know, it's been a fun journey to figure out different configurations. Do you wanna go with drawers? Do you wanna do like a specific system in the back that holds X, Y, and Z? Pushing yourself outside of those comfort zones really have such a huge payoff. Like I mentioned, I had a lot of anxiety around like drive days, long drive days, and we're pulling the trailer. And I felt like I was always trying to think 12 steps ahead, just not a couple. When you think about it too much, it really sucks all the fun out of it. And I think a lot of people crave to experience what the great outdoors has, experience like what it's like to be somewhere beautiful like this instead of just like a state or a national park. And they're scared because they don't know where to start. They're scared because there's so many unknowns. And I was one of those people. I wasn't really afraid to just get out and do it. And I was already interested in what the community had to offer, but you know, kind of putting my, putting the money where my mouth is and getting out there and actually doing it was a whole different thing. So I, I do have to credit um, my ex-wife a lot with that because she pushed me to stop being so nervous and get past it and, and, and you know, quit selling myself short and even and in turn the family short of experiences because I just let it get to me so much. So that's that's been a really big journey for me, but it's it's been the most substantial one I would say probably in my adult life. And I'm so grateful that I even had the opportunity to travel in the first place, but I just can't wait to just keep going farther and seeing what else is out there. <laughs> I think that leave no trace is the obvious answer, right? But um, also, I think you have to be conscious of kind of the terrain that you're going into and respect it in a different way. Meaning like if something is recently washed out, me trying to bomb through the mud and make the road worse is not gonna be helpful for the next people that want to enjoy it. I want these places to exist when my boys get old enough to go out and start adventuring on their own. This is what I want them to see. This is what I want them to feel. 
I think what's interesting is that a lot of people make this assumption, and it's it's not entirely wrong that overlanding is, is just kind of a boys club. And I think from the outside, it really is like that. But there are a lot of women in the space. There are a lot of, a lot of you know, ladies out here doing this on their own, and they're just not either vocal about it or they're not even looking for that kind of attention. This is naturally just their lifestyle. I'm lucky because of working in the industry, I have to go to a lot of industry events, which enabled, which enabled me to meet a lot of people in that space just naturally. I just hope that we see this community continue to grow in a positive way, that we see more, you know, faces of varying backgrounds become like a, just a natural part of it, that we see more kids get involved, that we see more families get involved. There is something about the outdoor community where we're all here because we love to be out here and nothing else really matters. That's the basis of it. And that's where we all kind of meet on this common ground. And we get this opportunity to connect with people that we never would have connected with otherwise. A lot of us get caught up in our head about what we want to do with our life and what we feel we're capable of doing in our life. And, you know, it's cliche to say it, but you have one chance to live. If there's anything that I can encourage people to do as a person that's like suffered through those anxious moments, but really wanted to push myself to get out there is find a community to support you if you feel that you can't take those steps on your own, because I can guarantee you it does exist. We are out here. We want to help. We want to be a part of it. So don't feel that you have to tackle something on your own. Just be open to what is out there and you can experience far more than you probably ever imagined and you don't have to handle it by yourself.